Nice fish. My name is Enoch Roman and I'm the co-founder of Surfcasters Journal magazine at surfcastersjournal.com. I also wrote three books on surf fishing, including The Art of Surfcasting. Uh, this is another in series of, of um, videos of, of how do I fish and what do I have uh, in my bag and how do I use stuff. Uh, as I said in previous videos, we had a bunch of people over the years doing uh, a lot of videos with them and, and sharing their opinions. You can find hundreds of videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, I decided to kind of put this together because it's winter time, I'm cleaning my stuff and I says, hey, I'm sure people would kind of like to know what's in my head. So I, I figure I'll make this serious in case you want to know. Uh, if you want to subscribe to our channels, please do. Here's the link. I mean, we appreciate if you watch uh, what we do uh, and hopefully you'll get something out of it. Um, would you agree with me? Probably not. Nobody really agrees on what the proper way of fishing is. Um, and you'll see right now, when I show you what's in my bag, you're going to go like, that's not in my bag. I don't fish any of that stuff. So look, you need, all of us, we need to accept that different parts of the country or different part of the Northeast, because we basically doing with fish, dealing with fishing for striped bass and bluefish, Different parts of the Northeast will have different favorite lures. Uh, I remember when we went to Karihan first time with Tommy where I went, and, and we were standing under a rock, under a club, and, and it was like six, seven o'clock at night. Now, we always booked the, the week where the fly fishing guys would have their tournament. So they would come from the boats, and they'd be, they'd be wiped being on the sun all day, fly fishing from the boat. They'd be sitting on a bluff and having their beers and all red in face, and there was Tommy there, he was on a rock, he was throwing a dart, you know, just basically what we throw most of the stuff, most of the time uh, back home. And a guy was like in really like, um, you know, Massachusetts accent, he was like, uh, is he throwing a dart? And, and, and he's like, yo, you throwing a dart? And Tommy's just hooking in a fish after fish after fish. And the guy says, I've never seen anyone use a dart here. And my point is, look, if you have proper conditions, I don't care where you are from, you know, Maine to Carolinas, and you, you target in the same fish, the striped bass and bluefish, for the most part, you will catch fish if you throw a proper lure in the proper conditions. There's no two ways about it. So it's just a matter of you finding what your area uh, needs or wants or what's best used in that spot. Um, so I'll, I'm going to show you what's in my bag. Remember, I fish anywhere from Jones Beach down to Montauk 90% of the time because it's close to my house. Uh, most of you guys that fish or are getting into fishing will be fishing, doing most of your fishing next to your house. All right, so stop looking at what guys at Cape Cod Canal are doing or the guys on, you know, on the Jersey, on the jetties are doing. You know, figure out what works in your area and then load up the shitload of stuff in your bag and that's where you fish it. So just because it's in my bag, that doesn't mean it's going to do anything in your bag, is my point, okay? I'm trying to be as honest as I can because sometimes people watch this stuff and then run out to the store and buy like, well, that guy's Zeno you know, that wrote the book, so this is, yeah, you should get, if you fish with me, you should have this in your bag. But if you fish in your area and this stuff doesn't work, please do not, do not do it, or do not carry it. There's just, there's only so many, see, the bag is like kind of like a holy grail of surf casting, okay? It won, my wife's got Louis Vuittons and all kinds of stuff that I have no, we're no part of it. And I know she holds them in high regards. Well, guess what? This thing only has three slots. It can only fit so many lures. When I was younger, I used to carry this. And I, I'm going to find a picture for you. This gigantic bag with eight tubes and 50 lures. And I try to swim with it. And I'm so stupid, but I was young and I, you know, now I don't do it. I got three slots. I'm not overfilling it. I'm picking specific number of lures to take with me. If I don't have it, I don't have it. So I'm very picky as what goes in my bag. Although I have hundreds of lures, I usually rotate between the same nine. Okay. And, and then I, I, why do I have so many lures? 
because I might need it. And if I need it, I need to have it. I don't need to go to the store and look for it or order it. I want to have it today. Okay, I don't, I don't want to have to go buy it. And that's why I have them because they worked at one time or they were good at one time. Let's go back to what's in my night bag. Okay, this is going to be the first. I'm going to do the second. Daytime bag, nighttime bag. This is what primarily is in my nighttime bag. Now, the first thing will be always a liter wallet. Obviously, most of you guys carry. This is my surfcast that, that sells this. A flashlight. Uh, I like to do it around my neck. That's just me. You can do it any way you want. There's another light. I, I wear two lights around my neck. And then I call, uh, have this, what I call this, a God forbid light. You have no idea how many times this thing saved my ass. Because when the two lights die on you on a rock, on a jetty in the middle of the night, especially when you went in <laughs> flip-flops, and you didn't tell your wife because you forgot your shoes, and you can't get off the jetty, that thing saved my life numerous times. So those three things I always will have. Uh, sometimes extra clips, tactical angler. I will always, always, always have, obviously, I'm going to have my camera. I'm going to have a jar here with either pork rind, fat cow, water tails, or some kind of, um, you know, um, uh, trailer, basically, that I'm going to use on bucktails. I will never go fish without bucktails. Multiples. Now, this is all depends on, so on, on a place that I fish. They might be pink because I'm targeting weak fish and tiny like this, you know, Three, three eight of an ounce, or they, or they could be gigantic, or they could be two ounce because I'm fishing a big jetty, or they could be green because I'm fishing uh, water that's not clean. That really depends on conditions. So all of this really depends on conditions. But this is what always going to be in my bag, okay? Needlefish. My fish seeking missile usually will come out of my bag first. Doesn't matter where I fish. It's for me to probe the area i can cast it uh, pretty far i can fish it deep shallow i can find where the fish are where they're hitting how are they hitting and then i can adjust my approach if i'm getting hits in the top of the water column and the fish are nice size i might go with something bigger like a like a daughter instead of needlefish if the fish are on sand deals and i know there's sand deals in the area i'll stay with a needlefish all night um, I made another video explaining how it worked the needlefish, so I'm not going to go into that. If I need, if I'm fishing a shallow area where it doesn't have a lot of current, where this super strike is going to sink too fast, I'm going to go with a wood needlefish, which will sink a lot slower. Um, will I sometimes go with gigantic needlefish like this? Uh, when a needlefish, uh, when a needle, when, I'm sorry, when the bass are feeding on a big sand deal. Uh, you can see by the you know, difference in size is, is quite quite big. Um, in stormy situation, I have a four-ounce needlefish. So these are all kinds of different needlefish that I might use, but they're always going to be in my bag. A and B, it's going to be 99% super strike because I fish in an area where there's a lot of current usually, and that's why my laws reflect that, okay? Um, the next thing that is always in my bag is... Uh, daughter again it's going to be super strike sometimes i have a six nine super strike daughters in there you know it depends sometimes we'll have one with a four oh hook because the the conditions are a little rough i want them to dig a little more sometimes i will have it no tail sometimes i have a feather on the back sometimes i have a three oh hook here this really you gotta kind of figure this out on your own what works and what doesn't in order to be take advantage of these small nuances of the plugs okay but yellow will always be my bag this is a johnny's daughter it's a slightly different uh, caught a lot of fish for me so i i try to have two different daughters in my bag uh, uh most of the time uh, depending on situation this really depends on conditions bottle plug you'll probably find one in my bag uh in a night bag all the time now, now you get into it, so, so if you see the way I'm fishing, it's needlefish and daughter, basically, most of the time. That's, that's what I'm thinking. I can both, both can go far, both can work in uh, needlefish more in a different water column, in a different depth where, where daughter is kind of limited, but daughter just works so well with current that you can't go without. Now you get into the situation where 
where are you fishing? What time is the year? How deep it is? What's the bait? So based on this is what this other stuff's going to come in play, okay? If I'm fishing a real, really snotty conditions and the fish are all the way on the other side of the bar where I can't reach them with a needlefish because sometimes when the wind is hard, because the needlefish are so thin, the wind just kicks their ass, okay? So I want something that I can get out there over the bar. So what I'll go with either with a heavy needlefish like this or because this sinks like a stone this is unusual but it works this is my super strike two and three eight of an ounce popper okay with the little black bucktail on the back so what i'm going to do is because this is as we know one of the best casting lures that that god ever made or don musa ever made i could cast this out in a high wind area high wind situation, I apologize, G reach the uh, area that I want to reach and then just crawl the lure under the surface, not pop it, as I would needlefish. My point is I'm delivering a needlefish where I really can't deliver a needlefish, okay, unless I use a super heavy needlefish which will sink. So that's how you got to think about it. If you took you know, this, this throat out, this just becomes a needlefish is my point. So I will do a lot of that when the conditions uh, uh, call for. Uh, metal lips. Uh, this is Donnie Musa Torpedo. Uh, I might go with this. I might go with a pikey type. I might go with the Danny type. It really depends. Uh, Adam, Adam 40, one of my favorites. This will really depends on conditions and the area that you fish. I love metal lips, but you are very limited to where you can use them. So if you're fishing a flat conditions, a shallow area, a back bay definitely most of the time, wind in your face, not so much, okay? Not so much. A, high, a fast current, not so much. They tend to go a lot, you know, fast. They, they, the lip gets caught and they just look unnatural doing this. Uh, another plug that's great, but it has to have a proper conditions. I mean, Redfin, this one actually has a broken lip. I just realized that, <laughs> pretty funny. So the Redfin is an awesome plug. Uh, unfortunately, you either have to be in the, you know, far away on a rock where you can throw this because it, it just, it's like you put up Pringles on it, it can cast just about as far as does the redfin. So it casts like shit, but, but it catches a lot of fish. It dries the fish. Absolutely crazy. Um, in recent years, we all have gravitated to using um, SP minnows. I mean, there's no doubt that these things perform. Um, they don't have a lot of motion of life, but they do cast, cast very well. Um, they have the sliding system in the back. So, you know, the, the, the weight will shift to the, to the back during the cast, and it'll, it'll propel lure pretty fast, uh, far, and, and you'll, catch, uh, you'll catch a lot of fish by just using this. Straight retrieve on most plugs other than needlefish. If you want to see how I retrieve the needlefish, by all means, go watch the needlefish video. Um, uh, basically, allow the plug to tell you how your retrieve is and the speed, meaning do not horse the plug in. And if you're not sure if you're retrieving a plug properly, slow and then slow some more. Okay, so basically, if you're in contact with your plug, you can feel it, you're good. And if you can slow it down and still be in contact with your plug, you're even better. That's the way you got to look at it. So that's basically the primer of, of, of I don't have the pencil popper here. I mean, I might carry sluggos. I might carry uh, sand deals. I might carry rig deals. I might carry a lot of different stuff. But for the most part, you'll find me with uh, needlefish. You'll find me with a daughter. And all this other stuff will kind of be as the situation warrants. Will I carry a lot of colors for nighttime? Uh, my look on uh yeah, and i'll do a separate video on colors alone i always look at it this i like every color as long as it's yellow so a lot of my plugs will be yellow as you see on this table so i'll basically cut uh, um, carry yellow white and black and then you know and when i say black i mean like black and purple to me is black okay uh blue and purple to me is black when you throw this in the water it doesn't look anything like black and purple, it looks black, it has a different shade. So my point is, I'll carry dark, I'll carry white, and I'll carry yellow. Why white at night? Because I've had nights on a new moon where I crush fish on yellow, so I wanna have at least one white daughter. 
On needlefish, I won't carry a lot of white needlefish. I'll carry yellow and black for the most part. Uh, on the poppers, they'll be all black. It won't be white. Uh, but, you know, I might have a herring uh, uh, bottle plug. I might have a uh, um, black bottle plug with me, a uh, black daughter, yellow daughter, you know. So, so basically, that's the primer of the way I fish uh, at night. What would I put in my bag? You put stuff in your bag that works for you. If you like bombers and, you know, bombers are productive in the areas where you fish, by all means, stuff your bag with nothing but bombers and go and have fun. But... This is uh, pretty, this has served me pretty well. Um, make adjustments as you need. This is, uh, this game is not easy, but it's, it requires you to, to change with the tide and the wind conditions, okay? So don't get locked into like, last night, this plug was great. Let's just say, uh, I'm going to give you something in particular. Let's just say... The Super Strike was great. This is a three ounce heavy needlefish. They were on the tip of the jetty. They were throwing this. It was great. It worked great at midnight. From midnight on, we crushed fish. Okay, that's great. So you get there at nine o'clock. You throw this thing in. There's no current. This thing goes right to the bottom. You're not catching any fish. And you're stuck in the rocks. Okay? It works because of the conditions. If the conditions change the next night, you might have to go with a lighter needlefish. You might have to go with a different color needlefish depending on the moon cloud. My point is you have to adjust it. Even when you're fishing... On a jetty, you're fishing a bucktail and the current's moving in one, one and a half ounce, you're banging fish and then it slows down, everybody's hooking up and you're like, what's going on here? But the current slowed down. You need to go down to one ounce and three quarter ounce and half an ounce. Oh, you got to increase the weight because the current is picking up in speed and your bucktail's now up here where it was before down here. My point is adjustment, adjustment, adjustment all the time, think in your head, what can I be doing better? Okay, so thank you for watching. If you like our videos, Please subscribe to our uh, channel, uh, check out our magazine, every issue that we put out, we have 50 or more free pages, just go to surfcastagirl.com, you can check it out what we do, we have exclusive videos, we have a lot of content in there, so thank you for watching again, I hope we help some of you uh, catch more fish, and uh, we'll see you on the beach.